McLaren's plan is crazy crazy and Red Bull look lost lost. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to P. I'm Jamie Chambers and McLaren CEO Zach Brown is eager to see his team continue to deliver on its potential by aiming for victory at every single race for the rest of the year. McLaren's final eight F1 2024 plan has been laid out as Brown described it as crazy crazy for this upcoming event. With three victories so far in F1 2024, McLaren has been in contention for multiple wins throughout the season as Lando Norris and Oscar Piatri are no strangers to the podium. Trailing reigning world champions Red Bull by just eight points with eight races to go, McLaren's momentum and form is such that the Woking-based team is likely to take the lead of the Constructors' Championship at the end of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. The MCL 38 has been developed into what now appears to be F1's fastest and most versatile car with comprehensive wins in Hungary and the Netherlands backed up by just missing out in Belgium and Italy as Mercedes and Ferrari respectively utilised effective one-stop strategies to beat McLaren's two stops. McLaren was beaten to the win at Monza as Charles Leclerc delivered under pressure to delight the Tifosi at Ferrari's home race, but Oscar Piastri just missed out on being able to pile the pressure on the Monegas as he reeled in Leclerc at the chequered flag. McLaren CEO Zach Brown is confident his team can fight for victories at any of the remaining eight races this season. He believes the MCL 38 has shown it can be competitive on all types of circuits and the team will be aiming for pole positions, front row lockouts and race wins at every event. I don't see why we can't be going for the win every race weekend, Brown told Sky F1. He acknowledged that the competition will be tough but said, I think we've shown our car is good in all kinds of conditions, all different types of circuits. The upcoming Azerbaijan Grand Prix in Baku could present some challenges as Brown described it as a bit of a crazy, crazy race. However, he said the team's approach will remain the same. We're going to show up every weekend trying to go for pole, trying to go for a front row lockout, trying to win. Brown expects a three-way race for the Constructors' Championship as Ferrari has closed the gap to just 30 points behind the leaders. I'm sure it won't quite work like that for the next eight races because the competition is tough, he said. Despite having to settle for second and third at Monza, McLaren team boss Andrea Stella refuted the suggestion that the MCL 38 was the fastest car that weekend. Stella believes Ferrari's Charles Leclerc was just as fast as the McLarens, which he admitted was bad news as it meant they couldn't simply cruise to victory. Stella expressed hope that McLaren can capitalise more on the competitiveness of their car, acknowledging that they had to deal with the challenge posed by Ferrari at Monza. He believes the close battle between the top teams will make for an exciting conclusion to the season. McLaren will continue to push for the best possible results in their pursuit of the Constructors' title. Max Verstappen has made a major F1 2024 championship declaration with his fourth title under threat. Max Verstappen and Red Bull appear to be lost for answers with McLaren now having the fastest car. Verstappen said it's difficult to figure out where things have gone wrong for Red Bull through the middle section of this year's championship. With seven race wins from the first 10 races of the season, Red Bull's 2024 looks broadly like a continuation of last year's dominance, only for the RB20's competitiveness to fall away over the next six races. Since his win in June's Spanish Grand Prix, Verstappen has been winless for six consecutive race weekends, the longest streak without a victory for the Dutch driver since 2020. Worse still, the situation appears to be escalating, with Red Bull nowhere near the fight for victory at Monza last time out, following on from a drubbing at the hands of McLaren's Lando Norris at Zandvoort. It's a difficult situation for the reigning F1 world champions, with team boss Christian Horner admitting that the data from the team's wind tunnel and CFD does not match the real-world behaviour of the car, meaning the developments introduced to the car are not helping unlock a better feel for the drivers. Reverting to previous specifications of components may improve the balance for Verstappen and Perez, but with all the teams introducing upgrades throughout F1 2024, older specifications mean slower lap times, even if the car feels better to drive. Red Bull is facing a precarious situation as they struggle to understand the balance issues with their RB20. To make matters worse, McLaren has closed the gap in the Constructors' Championship to just eight points with eight races remaining. This has left Verstappen feeling that the fate of this year's title is no longer in his own hands. The reigning champion is concerned that the performance of the Red Bull car has made it too difficult for him to win the championship through his own performances. Verstappen acknowledged that while he would of course like to win his fourth consecutive title, the car's issues have taken that goal largely out of his control. Listen, I just do the best I can. If I win or not, 
it's not going to change my life, he said. Verstappen expressed frustration, saying, it's not in my hands with the performances of the car because I just try to get the best I can, try to give feedback, try to make it faster. If that's going to be enough for the end of the year, I don't know. The Dutch driver revealed that he had not expected his title defence to unfold this way, even if he's still enjoying it. Verstappen admitted that his current 62-point lead over Lando Norris is not enough for him to feel comfortable, as the championship is still very much up for grabs with several races left. I mean, I would like to win races otherwise, you know, it's still eight races and some sprint races, so these kind of things can easily be, of course, overturned, he said. Verstappen continued to state that he is simply doing his best to extract the maximum performance from the car while the team works tirelessly to address the balance problems. He noted that they understand where the issues lie, but resolving them has proven challenging given the changes they've made to the car. I think we are understanding where we need to find stuff, what we find in the wind tunnel and what we find from CFD. That is not the problem. The reigning champion dismissed the idea of playing it safe to protect his points lead, saying he wants to have the best possible package for each weekend. But of course I would like to win the championship. We still have a great lead, but you just can't go into a weekend like, oh no, we cannot touch the car because that maybe we lose more points or whatever. You go for it. You want to have the best possible package every single weekend, he explained. So with the unpredictable Baku circuit up next, Red Bull will need to quickly get on top of their car's handling problems if they want to fend off the growing challenge for McLaren and reassert their dominance in the title challenge. Verstappen acknowledged that a perfect end of the season will be crucial as the championship battle remains wide open. Red Bull have revealed a decisive factor that will determine Azerbaijan Grand Prix success. Senior advisor Helmut Marko revealed the question facing the team is about car balance in the RB20 and giving their drivers confidence moving forward. Verstappen and Perez finished 6th and 8th respectively at Monza last time out with Red Bull's Constructors' Championship lead cut to just 8 points. Helmut Marko told the media that Red Bull need to rediscover the RB20's car balance. So Red Bull is struggling with the balance and handling of the RB20 and this has hindered their performance in recent races. Both Verstappen and Perez have complained about the car being undrivable at times, allowing rival teams like McLaren, Ferrari and Mercedes to outperform them. Marco has acknowledged that the key issue for the team is rediscovering that there is a good car balance that they had earlier in the season. Marco stated that if they can find that sweet spot again, it will make their car's behaviour more predictable and restore the driver's confidence. However, he admits this is a difficult task given the number of new parts they have introduced to the car. Marco also pointed out that Mercedes, McLaren and Ferrari have all shown stronger race pace than Red Bull at various points, suggesting the reigning champions have lost their early performance advantage. With the championship battle tightening, Red Bull must quickly resolve their car balance issues if they hope to maintain their lead in the standings. So looking ahead, the unpredictable nature of Baku could actually be a crucial race in determining the direction of the title fight. Red Bull will need to quickly get on top of their car's handling problems and make sure they can fend off McLaren and Ferrari. Okay, let's wrap this up with a quick summary. The 2024 Formula 1 season has taken an intriguing turn with McLaren emerging as a serious challenger to the reigning champions Red Bull. McLaren CEO Zach Brown has expressed his confidence in his team's ability to fight for victories at every track, believing the MCL 38 is versatile and competitive. Down the pit lane a little bit, Red Bull is facing a precarious situation as they struggle to resolve the balance and handling issues with their RB20. Verstappen, the defending champion, has acknowledged that the performance of the Red Bull has made it increasingly difficult for him to control his own fate in the title race. This has left Verstappen feeling frustrated as he grapples with a car that no longer seems to be under his full control. Although Helmut Marko has identified the team's primary challenge as rediscovering the strong car balance that they had in earlier in the season, is that enough to correct the decline of Red Bull? If they can address these handling woes, it could restore the predictability and confidence Verstappen and Sergio Perez need to be consistently competitive. However, Marco did concede that this will be a difficult task given the number of changes that the team has already made to the car. Azerbaijan is going to prove to be a pivotal moment in determining the direction of the title fight. Can Red Bull quickly resolve their car balance issues, reassert some dominance, or will McLaren's speed and consistency allow them to capitalise on Red Bull's struggles and take the lead in the Constructors' Championship? Can Red Bull stop the decline and be competitive in the last eight races? Will McLaren take the lead of the Constructors' Championship? And what would it mean for the title fight if McLaren were to take the lead? How much better is the MCL 38 than the RB20? How might that play out in the unique Baku circuit? 
and just how much of a psychological toll has Red Bull's recent struggles taken on Verstappen and can he regain the confidence and control he needs to secure a fourth consecutive title? As always, let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. Keep the pedal to the metal and I'll see you in Baku.